Okay, just about to join the Aussie Hump Day ride, a Wednesday night ride here, Australian time, that is one of the biggest bunches on Zwift. What I thought I'd go through for this video is bunch ride etiquette on Zwift. It's about following the beacon, riding at the prescribed pace, but first of all, I'm gonna hit this button down here to join. About 15 minutes before the event, if you've already joined the event with the companion app, or you've clicked on join event when you start Zwift, it'll pop up a little thing just here. So what I'm gonna do is click on join event, and we'll hit the start line. Woof! Boom! And you can see there, there's quite a lot of uh, a lot of people. And the first message there from the ride leader, Tim Searle, stay with the beacon, please. So that's the name of the game for these group rides. The beacon will ride at the prescribed pace in watts per kilo. That will be listed in the mobile app or on the Zwift website. You can see here, we have 200 people lined up, still with two minutes to go. That's awesome. So up the top there you see 262, 263, 264, 266. People joining at the very last minute. We're almost ready to roll, 270. That's unbelievable. Okay, time to start pedaling now before it starts, just to get those watts up. So you start rolling as soon as the flag goes down. There we go. Okay, now I'll put my Wahoo kicker back up there in the top so you know what trainer I'm on. So we're looking at 200 and 60, 270 riders all up, rolling out for the hump day ride. So the aim of the game is to find that yellow beacon and ride as close as you can at the prescribed wattage. The ride leader there, Tim Searles now, going through the, uh, just the official start. Easy rollout, please group up. One thing never to do in a ride like this is to shoot off the front at max watts. It's not a race. This is a bunch ride. So you can see that I've just shot past Tim. And I'm going to have to back it off just a little bit. Okay, Ben Simpson there, one of the ride leaders. Two watts while we regroup, please, at the front. So two watts per kilo. And a lot of the group chat will start coming through there. So. Using the camera angles, I can see number six, which is behind me. Tim is right there. That's the right lead we need to stick with. So away we go. You can see that the pace is way, way up. It takes probably, depending on the course, maybe five minutes or so for people to find uh, the flow of the bunch, so to speak and positioning in the bunch. So you can see right now, I'm two watts per kilo, 1.8, and I'm still pulling away from the, the beacon. So if I press camera six there, you can see the beacon behind us. It's also up there in the top right-hand corner where Tim is. So again, it's all about the bunch rides, the group chat, hump day ride has a great community. And, uh, They've even recruited a number of lieutenants up the front there, Ben Simpson, telling everyone just to chill, just to chill. Back it off. But it's one thing never to be caught out. So just a summary of the start there. At about 10 seconds to go, if you're not pedaling, start pedaling. Get this power up. Make sure you've got a towel. Some drink. And know the prescribed wattage of this ride. Or the ride you're going to join. So Tim giving some instruction there, right with the beacon for the first one, to, first two laps and save your lab legs, sorry, for, uh, I'm out of breath already. Save your legs for lap three. Lap three on the hump day ride is unique. It's all out, it's all on. It allows the people who wanna go off the front and wanna stretch their legs to do so. But Tim also runs just a chilled ride, rolling at this pace, all runs Pac-Man, which we'll talk about Pac-Man another day. It's a lot of fun though. But for a ride like this, you can see I'm just ticking along. 1.7, two watts a kilo, in the bunch. That's <laughs> so a little bit of an in-joke there. Ben Simpson, <laughs> if you press A on the keyboard, you actually come to a stop. So you can see there, good humor already. <laughs> two k's into the ride. Tim Searle there, Round, rounding up the troops, tell us to keep tight. 
and that's pretty much it. So that's, there's a rollout. Get up to speed, find your legs, know the prescribed wattage and don't shoot off the front. That's pretty much bunch etiquette in every Zwift rollout ride, group ride, and just, uh, yeah, they're just a bit of fun. Nothing too hard in the legs until, well, the last lap of this one. There we go. Someone spotted me already, so the chat starts. Let me just send back a g'day. M to chat in game, or you can use the mobile link app to do that. There we go. Now typically the easy rides go flat routes. There will be still a few bumps here and there. There we go. Watch the beacon position, stay close please, like Lama's doing. <laughs> I've been spotted already. Thought I was gonna hide away tonight. Not the case, but you can see I'm quite near Tim there. Tim's just reminded me to show you guys what the mini-map's all about. Top right, you can click a few different ways, touch screen or with the mouse. Tight bunch right here. Looking really good at the top. I usually keep it about that way. And you can see on the bottom of the screen there, 14 meters to Tim Searle, so a little bit too fast there. And five minutes in, it's a reminder to turn the fans on. A couple of smart fans with a, uh, there we go, much better, okay. Slight hill here, easy up out of the tunnel. See, Tim's, he's on it, it's really good. If you're a first timer for this bunch ride, here's how to do it, you just follow the, follow the leader. The make a game of sticking near Tim, or the rider in yellow. If there's a rider in red, they're known as the sweeper, or the official sweeper. Hump day ride doesn't have one of those. They'll be on the back of the group. You don't ever want to drop back past the sweeper. Not the place to be, you'll be out of the draft. Speaking of being out of the draft, let's drop back and see what happens about bunch positioning. So you can see here my watts bouncing between 1.8, 3, 2.4, just chilling. Let's drop back and see what it takes to ride at the speed of the bunch if we just drop back too far and lose that draft effect. Let's see how I'm using camera number six here to look back. There's quite a few riders. You can see the top right, 158 of 291, 290. It's quite a few. Might take a while to drop back here, but you can just see the, still doing 36 kilometers an hour. Tim Searle, cracking the whip there. Front 80, not getting it. Just back it off, guys. Okay, so when you bunch position like this, you can really have a rest. I've dropped the watts super low for that last minute or so. I'm still having riders come past. Just wanna drop off and just lose that elastic band to show you what it's like being in the wrong position for a bunch ride like this. So we've got a few stragglers back here, maybe late joiners, maybe you forgot to start pedaling at the start and just been hanging off the back. Okay, here we are. I'm now a bit off the back and I'm gonna watch the seconds tick up as that bunch rolls away. I'm out of the draft now. You can see the seconds are ticking up, the bunch is getting away from me. <clears throat> now here's the key. If I now ride at the prescribed wattage, 2.5 to 3, I think it is for the hump day ride, I'm still going backwards. I'm out of the draft. Here's the danger zone. Thanks, Matt. That's exactly where I am. So if I'm struggling to keep up and I'm out of the draft, it's going to be game over. That's where a lot of people find themselves straight away. If they're not confident to push up to the front, and then back it off. You can see here I'm still losing seconds. I'm five, six seconds back. And if I don't do something about it very soon, that's gonna be hump day right over. So I'm gonna step it up. <clears throat> Try and get back to the bunch. You can see here I'm out of the draft. So it's taking 
4 watts a kilo, 4.1. We'll see how long it takes to rejoin. 4.4, having to work hard here. So well over the prescribed wattage for the ride. I'm having to dig somewhat deep, a bit of a shallow grave to get back on the bunch. 4.3, here we go, back in the draft of one. Almost there. Okay, back into the safety of the bunch. So, <clears throat> recovering from that, <laughs> we can see the heart rate there. <laughs> Here we go, so into the safety of the bunch and back to the beacon. Whew. There we go, they're asking where I went. I'm back, I'm back. There we go, so communicate with the bunch. They saw me drop off. There we go. So there we are, 10 minutes of the Aussie hump day ride. There's uh, a lot more to the hump day ride than the average ride. Nearest the pin competitions where Tim takes screenshots. As I've mentioned, that last race on the last lap, if you want to race, if not, ah, no stress, just chill. There's also the thunderstorm where everyone goes to the list and gives everyone a thumbs up. It's massive. It rains thumbs, literally a thunderstorm. So there we are, we'll leave it there for now. 10 minutes in, another 50 minutes to go or so for the hump day ride. And as I said, there are the, uh, a few tips there for any bunch ride or just easy pace ride, moderate pace ride maybe, but not a race here on Zwift. Happy Zwifting, we'll see you out there soon.